Alright, hello. Alright, hello. I didn't think fair. Let's see what happens when I set this fight all the way over. Make sure she doesn't have to survive this chapter for me to get her because if so, that's gonna piss me off. <sighs> okay. And the final mission has. Five parts, Jesus. Okay. Good, alright. Um Kill it.
Very nice. Mm, goddamn. Very, very nice. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just out of mend. That sucks. It's fine though. Some heals better than no heal. Crazy that the crossbow has a higher hit rate. Oh, that motherfucker. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, God. Damn. Alright, shit. I'd love one more. Not going to lie. Very bad level up. I really hope I like kills this dude. I'm, I'm having faith in my boy. Jeez, what a good level.
Mm. Very good growth. That's annoying as fuck, but okay. Oh, you really fucked up with this one. Betty. You can bust that guy's ass, right? This battle save, this is where it could all go wrong. Yes, sir. That's just how we do, baby. Get it, get it. Yes, sir. No, we've lost the game. Yes, sir.
Oh shit. Big, big liar liar pants on fire. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, we got lucky on that one. Alright, well, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap it up here, huh? Boy, it's gotta be the MVP, though. Tearing it up. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Not much. How about yourself? I'm just playing some Fire Emblem. That sounds like fun. Yep. Unrolled in a, a programming boot camp. That's pretty scary. <laughs> and what are you going to work on it? Uh, like, I guess web and app development is what it was saying. Uh. Yeah, just to help me get a better job, to be honest, because I could do it by myself, but I'm gonna have to take out a student loan, and that just sounds awful, man. That's the part yeah. I really dread. You say why? Wait, going to the boot camp? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah why don't? A... Huh? Why wouldn't you just try to get a college for it then? If you had well, to do because that? well because. It, this is teaching me just what I need to know. It's not just like I'm going to, like, it's like I'm not, I don't gotta go to two year courses to learn all this, you know? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I think that's, I mean, I think college is mostly a waste of time, unless, or not really a waste of time, more of a waste of money. It's a lot of effing money. I mean, so is $14,000, but this one guarantees to, like, help you find a job. It's not like you just go get your certificate and leave, you know? Yeah. I should be getting, uh, what's it called, because when they work in there for so long and everything like that, and they work in multiple hours, or not multiple hours, but like full time, hmm. uh, they should be giving me, uh, what's called a full ride. Oh, yeah. So not, like, all the way through a full year. Do they pay through for all your school? Yep. Yeah, when I worked there, they only gave you a thousand dollars, because that's what I got, I got a thousand dollars, but... Now it's uh, 3,000 if you work 40 plus hours and then uh, they have a um, college that you can go through mm -hmm. that pays for it all. What are you doing up right now, buddy? It's pretty late. You got to work tomorrow? Uh, no, I was helping a friend trying to install his subs. Trying to install subs? Install subs. Uh, subwoofers. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. You got the game ready or not? Uh, I do not. 
We should get that. That's pretty good. Isn't it for you on Epic now or no? No, 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 no. No, no, no. That'd be crazy if it was. I mean, like, I good. Think no, I think it is going to be free within the next two days. Oh, look, but it's in early access, man. What are you talking about? No, well, no, 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 sorry, sorry, I'm thinking of uh, something else. I mean, there's some good free games on Epic, but, like, no, that's not it. Um, no, there was, there was one that you guys had, it's like, Project something, I think. Oh. Uh, I don't know, all the Fallouts came out for free on uh, Epic. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, first class trouble. Oh yeah, no, that's for free now? Uh, January 12th through 19th. That's cool, that's a fun game. Hold on one second, I gotta get, take care of Dahlia. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should get ready or not so we can play it. It's fun. It's co-op. 
it's not competitive, it's just go up. I'm to start at my, uh, what's that called? Oh, sorry, college work again. Hmm, that sucks. Yeah. Is this your last semester? Yep. Nice. Looking forward to it, not really. Oh, maybe. <sighs> yeah, this will just be a six month course. Mm, it's, surely it'll help me get a fucking good job, dude. I'm so tired of working at jobs that don't feel like I'm doing anything. Also, the jobs are supposed to be like that you get outside of this are supposed to at least be 40, 48,000 a year. That's not bad. And that's just starting out. Like, well, I mean, yeah, not considering that me and Tawana make like 40,000 together and that's it. Like, we barely The make tactics it. used by the Gallian army prove effective. And like Flagare before it, we shall force to claw and right? steal. Before Benyon can react, the Lagoos overwhelm the remaining border defenses and cross into the Telgum region. With both defensive keeps overrun, Telgum falls like a fruit at the feet break. of the Lagoos Alliance. Hmm? Inspired so I'm guessing by their success, also watching the, kids the Alliance break. takes advantage of this momentum to uh, strike like toward combined. the very heart of the Benyon Empire. 40 hours Gattos combined and plus watching the kids. Oh, no, no, no. Of the Lagoos advance. No, no, no. Banding I, I work part-time, but when I was working full-time, that's... We, that, yeah, like, we make less they now. Their armies in but we were making, like, at least, like, 40,000 or more full-time. Using the Rabon River, a tributary of the mighty Miskale, as a defensive front, the Benyon forces make their camps along its western bank in the Sestol Plains. Oh, I think I'm about to head out now. I'm getting this super tired. Alright, man. I'll okay. see ya. Love you, bro. Bye, oh, okay. It's fine. Just stop. I'm not interested in your friendship. The Hawk Tribe and the Raven Tribe used to live together in Phoenix. Keys. Our tribes are like brothers. Maybe if you fess up about some of your secrets, I might consider helping you out in the future. It doesn't really narrow it down, Spawn. Which secrets are you talking about? What's the secret of how you suddenly became first in line to succeed the throne of Kilvis? Oh, that secret. Sure, no problem. I'll tell you if we live through this war. Sound alright to you? Sounds fine to me. You know, this war's gonna be vicious. But at least our tribes will grow closer to you. Do you actually trust me? You might live to regret it. You're trying to protect Raisin, Leanne, Raphael, and their father, King Lorazia. <clears throat> Isn't that so? As long as they're on our side, you won't betray us. I think that's enough rest and small talk, though. Let's go. General Vale, how did it go? 
It's no use. No one to even listen to me. It makes my heart heavy. Nobles are too busy competing with one another for rewards and status to realize the danger of their lands. Rewards? Are they crazy? These subhumans are at their doors and all they care about is some reward. They only listen to each other. No one even wants them. to listen to me. Journal Veil. How are we going to survive this? Oh, he seems like a nice guy, I think. It's like a dream come true. My hero standing right in front of me. Somebody pinch me. Hey, if you don't let go of my hand, I can't pay for anything. No, my darling. Let us not spoil our time together with talk of money. Speak sweetly to me, handsome. Listen, lady. This is a shop. And I'm a customer. So sweet about that. Oh, such cold words. My hero plays hard to get. You're only making me more interested. Will you let go of my hand? Please? Then tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me I'm more beautiful than any woman in this camp. And then you'll let go of my hand. Of course, I'll even give you everything you want for free. Alright then. No, I don't say another word. The voice, it's... Come on, Soren. She's gonna give us everything for free. <laughs> Nothing in life is free, Ike. Suppose you said what she asked you to say, hmm? What then? You'd hear it all over the camp, in nearby villages. Eventually, the entire country would be saying it. Ike, the hero of the Mad King's War, is in love with Amy, the shop girl. Rumors could spread <laughs> quickly, so out of control. Come off it, you're exaggerating. Oh, don't be so sure. With my network of merchants, I'll spread the word of our f uh, to the four corners of Tellius. Then half a year, everyone will know. Then you'll be mine forever, Ike. You'll have no choice at all. Man, you go right for the neck, don't you? All right, sir, and she's all yours. Yes, sir. What do I do now? I do for the good of the company. No, Ike, don't go. Don't do this to me. Well, now, shall we get on with our business? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? You're looking more beautiful than ever, Miss Amy. A true delight for the eyes. Ooh, now you're talking, you little lady killer. I know you won't discount the goods to me, to nothing, since it's coming from me. So how about you cut your prices down by three quarters? Oh, decisions, decisions. You're a diamond, and other Bjork only glass beads, Miss Amy. I'll buy more than <laughs> I'll buy more than enough to justify the discount. Half price, maybe. A touch less than three quarters, then. What do you say, Rose of Tellies? Oh, goddess of desire. All right, you win. Just this time, mind you. Take this. Ah, silver card. You can buy everything for half price at all the shops. That's right. Remember what I said, though. It's a limited time deal, so... I'll have to take it away. Oh, and while you own this car, you'll be able to sell your weapons as raw materials. Got that? Understood, Miss Amy. Stay beautiful. <laughs> That interaction I mean uncomfy. So you're Ileana. That's such a cute and delicate name. Uh wait, I guess there'd be I never guessed there'd be such a pretty a pretty girl around all these lagoos. What a lucky day. Is there something wrong, Ileana? Are you feeling sick? You look weak. I'm so hungry. Oh no, that's no good. Hold on, I'll bring you some food right away. Really? Oh that'd be wonderful. Oh look at that smile. What do you like? Something delicious. I don't particularly care what it is. I just want loads of it. Um, alright. I guess that means you pretty much eat anything. I'll go find some dude who thinks I'm cute. And I'll con him into cooking something. You stay put. How interesting. Heather. Her name's Heather. I remember her name. She likes to feed me. Are you still eating everything in sight? Oh, hello, Ike. I haven't seen you in a long time. Glad to see you remember me. Of course, I remember all of the mercenaries. Well, most of you, anyway. Oscar prepares such delicious meals. I remember that well enough. Oh, I can't wait to eat this food again. And I can see you haven't changed a bit. <clears throat> so I told him, you know? I thought it was important. Are you sure about this? They're always exaggerating stories to make them more impressive. Oh, I'm deadly serious. Trust me. You'd done you you'd have done the same thing you'd have done exactly the same thing if you were there. Oh, I finally found you. Oh, no, shit. Oscar, boy, it's been such a long time. Ooh. How did you find us? She's in here. Let go! Oh, see, I thought those ears were bandaged, but I think that's, like, his actual ears. Anyway, 
What are you doing in here, intruder? You're coming with us. No, please, I'm not done yet. <sighs> Let go of her. She's a friend of ours. She is. Should have said something. Thank you, Oscar. Oh, that was scary. Why'd you come here? Please, you have to let me see him. I do. He's here with you, right? Let me see Rolf. Uh, why should we? What? You abandoned him. You left Dad and Rolf for some guy. What kind of mom does that, huh? I was different back then. I was so young, I didn't know how to raise two kids while looking after your bedridden father. Believe me, I tried. I tried, but it was too difficult. At least you and I aren't related. But Rolf, that's different. He's yours. Oh, but, but Rolf, that's different. He's your son. Yours. And you left him because it was too hard. I'm sorry, I've regretted my decisions since the day I made it. I thought of you each and every day. Holy shit. My father died not too long after you left him. We'd have followed him too if my brother hadn't abandoned his knighthood in Crimea to take care of us. I had no idea. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Leave. Now. You've got no right to see Rolf. Boy, please, I'm begging you. I, I want Rolf to come back and live with me. Lady, you got some serious nerve. He's our brother. You're not going to take him away from us. Just wait here. I'll go get Rolf. Oscar! Oscar, thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. I, have sudden, I haven't suddenly forgiven you. Then why? Because you're still Rolf's mother. Nothing in the world will change that. We'll leave it up to Rolf to decide. Oscar. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to see her? Yeah. I don't even remember her face. She's just another stranger to me. Rolf. I have my family, Oscar. You, boy, everyone in the Grail Mercenaries. I don't need anyone else. Why should I let her try and change that? Don't look at me like that. Why do you look so sad? I'm not sad. Then I'll ask her to go home. Tell her to never come back. She's being a nuisance. Fine. Rolf. I... I do love you, boy. We fight all the time and we might not be related, but you're my real brother. Don't make me go away. You can't. I want to stay with you. I want to stay with the family. You little idiot. Of course you can stay. We raised you, remember? You're not some... Thing to give away to a crazy woman. You're one of us. Thanks. Wow, that was sweet. Shouldn't have even wasted the uh
Yes, but oh, and Mia. I give that to Mia then, because I have a little tart or whatever. That's hard. I must also need to mind. Then does Homie have a mind? points on them.
<laughs> it's just we can use it at the forge, that's what I'm figuring out by because I thought it, maybe it's like a certain value you can use them. Find out what he does, because I thought it made it slower where you couldn't do double hits. But what does wait? Most importantly, I do it. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. Are you in position? Yeah, ready when you are. We'll leave the troops on the left of the Bjork. Sound good? Fine by me. I'll teach those nobles a thing or two. Alright, move out!
Hello? Say, can you see the enemy trembling? My muscles do tend to scare them. I actually didn't see what, uh... Nice. Chop. Oh, was that an axe? Damn. That's it, an axe user. That shit go crazy hard. Hmm, that sucks. Thank you. 
nice. I'm sad that she was still get the crit, but still nice. Christian, how you doing, man? Just being chilly right now. It's pretty much it. Nice. Where's the boy? Uh, I haven't messaged him, but he, he was on and then he went, uh, he went AFK, so I assume he probably fell asleep or something. I don't really know. That bastard. I didn't get on till 11, so maybe he saw that and was like, well, I'm going to say I was waiting for him and then didn't. You wouldn't put a message to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, no, whatever. I know. I know it kills me because it's definitely not a spur of the moment decision whenever he goes to sleep. Yeah, it's just like a. Yeah. But Probably. It could be. Yeah. We should make. We should. We should, we should get him back somehow. Yeah, we should fall in love. That'll teach him a lesson. Yeah, let's make that fun of him. <laughs> and then when he says, can I have party. some guys? No! You <laughs> go to <laughs> sleep! What are you trying to sleep? What are you trying to sleep on the couch? Because we all live together for some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What have you been up to? Okay, nothing. I got home today and I was like, I'm gonna chill. So I laid, so I sat down for a second. And I've just been kind of sitting here watching South Park while I eat. <laughs> So far, it's good. You're making up for all those years you didn't watch it as a little Christian boy. I know. Right? Yeah, no, I like, oh, it is so good. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's very funny, dude. I think, man, uh, it is so good. And it's like, really, what's really like great about it is like, it somehow maintained not getting canceled. Like, <laughs> I know, right? That's the like, really shocking part about it. Yeah, this, this, these ones, like, do not. I love, I love, I love the one episode where, uh,. <laughs> It's such a good, like, tongue-in-cheek episode, but it's the, uh, one where Stan, uh, says the N-word on Jeopardy. <laughs> Have you seen that one? Or Wheel of Fortune? I don't, I don't whichever one, it's one of the two. I don't, I don't think we've gotten there yet. Oh, dude, it's so good. Because, like, what, hap what happens is, like, everybody's like, Hey! You're the N-word guy! But they're, like, actually saying it. You can't just yeah. say N-word. Like, they just, like, they're vehemently saying it. <laughs> It's just funny because like the irony of it's like the fact they're like fucking yelling at him, but they're all like saying the same shit, you know? Yeah. Really uh, I got I just got past the episode where Cartman like lost like sixteen dollars to the ninth grader and then killed his parents <laughs> and fed him to, and fed him his own parents in a chili like cook off thing. Jesus. <laughs> It was, it was something. Oh, thank god, I thought that guy was gonna get a double kill. Double kill! Oh, you fell right into my trap by fighting my archer. God damn, Tatan, you murdered that man. There's so many damn units in this fucking map, dude. Jesus Christ. They don't understand why Kenny has to die every episode. Yeah. That was a joke that I never thought was funny. I don't know. But I'm also the type of person who doesn't like happy tree friends or stuff like that. Yeah. And gore to me, it just isn't funny. Nah. I, I mean, like, I, what I don't like about it is the fucking... He doesn't deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker has the shittiest life in South Park. Yeah. Aside from, 
like future events. But just to, like gets his fucking shit pushed in by the creators. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I never, I never really enjoyed that. That was making me feel bad. Oh my god, they keep cutting off Kenny's arms. Yeah, he deserves it though. Uh, dude, fucking saw the episode where Jimmy and Timmy like start fighting. <laughs> they start fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good like, stuff. I love this dude. This dude is fucking hilarious. Have you seen the Christmas episode where uh, they go to Canada? Or it's like about I think it's can Canadian. Um, no, but I saw the Christmas episode where uh, Mr. Hanky and his family was like trying to get the Christmas spirit back into the capital, the commercialism Christmas spirit back into South Park. Mm. And, and his wife just keeps saying, Do you want to bet me I won't take off all my clothes? <laughs> Bacon on the crit, baby!
could cock this dick. Oh, I got him. You know, Andrew, I want to tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to tell you, uh, I did not kill him, in fact. Well, you did today. Yeah, it's a sad day, but, hey. What are you going to do about it, you know? We'll get him next time. If you fail, we'll get him next time. Uh huh? Uh -huh. There was never a next time. There's, uh, there's only a next time. Oh. That, was, that, was a, that was a banger, man. There's only a banger in every month. Timmy! <laughs> Getting tired would say. Dad. I love you now. And I know you want me to say. I'm trying to follow my bus. Should I follow my bus? Follow my bus. Timmy! I just want that new fire and then the fucking come out, dude. Like, where the fuck is it, you know? Where the fuck is it? I don't know. Ish. The Ishimura. None of these four can take the down south route. We got Titania over here. We got, we got an Axe Boy, another Axe Boy, and a Thunder Mage. It's sideward safe. Dead. I love you. Ah, follow my press. Get inside. Damn, dude. Uh, yeah, we'll take the armor force over here. Armor force, activate! I really should have battle saved for that, but it's fine. Has to go with the gotcha. Okay, and then Titania can go up here. That'll actually work out perfectly. Yeah. You're placing the valve, means I mean, everybody, I'm just a uh, big chill. Be chilling. Nah, yeah, you good. I'm kind of just chilling tonight. Hey there. Get a long D. Get a long D? How long was it? You know what I'm saying? Oh Let's shit, yeah, yeah. Will you, uh, will you see if you got an Appleton on a shield? Or, you can, or a sweet apple. If you can just get a sweet apple for me, that'd be great. Either one's fine. I just need an D? Appleton. I, I need it to keep, because I'm, I'm doing a living dex on my home. So what you could do if you wanted, so you don't have to give me an Appleton, you could, uh, because I've got it in my deck. Basically, what I'm really worried about is I want a, um, I, I'm gonna start my, uh, my sword playthrough over so I can, uh, get Kubfu, and I can get, uh, the other Urshifu, and then I can get the old, the other Spectrier, Spectrier, and then Dra 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 uh, Reggie Draco. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm preparing for that, but I want to have all the Pokemon and Sword and Shield in my, uh, home so that I can just fill out the decks and then when we decide to do Dynamax Adventure again we can actually shiny hunt, you know? Yeah, but like you need Appleton from uh Australia Violet though. Yeah yeah but I can't trade him to home and trade him back to uh, Sword. Okay, yeah, because it's gonna be relatively okay. soon when I because I've literally got three Pokemon or no I've got Appleton and I need one of the Reggies and then I'm I'm done with Sword. I'm gonna restart it. So, so you just clean an Appleton. It doesn't matter which game it's from. No, 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 no. 
Okay, let me see if I have. I one. mean, it can't be from Violet. Well, uh, the thing is, you have shield, sure. don't you? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I do. All you have to let do, me... if you don't want to give me an Appleton, that's completely fine, man. Just get, like there's a place. I think you buy sweet apples. Hold on. And you can just trade me a Pokemon with a sweet apple on it. And I can take it. That would be easier, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let me. I, I mean, like the thing is, is I don't know how far in in shield I am. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is still not a problem because it won't take too long to do what I need to for it, but still. Yeah. Is app? Oh my God! Is he? Uh... It is is Flapple and Appleton the pseudo legendary of this game? Because I think you can only get one sweet apple. Okay, the only other place you can get him is winning in that battle cafe. That's fucking annoying. Dude, the grass starters always have the weakest shinies. Yeah. I was it's looking at fucked. Gorilla Booms and it's awful. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. Um. So, it would just be a, with, with an Appleton, like. From sword to be okay there as well. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's an Mainly Appleton, yeah, no, it doesn't matter which one it's from. Okay. It's just, I, I do need to keep it if that's okay. No, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, Especially because you, uh, you can get it from Sword from Scarlet and Violet. I've got it from yeah. Scarlet and Violet, I just can't trade it back into home, you know? Yeah, no, no, you did. I understand. Let me, let me open up Sword, see if I have one there. If not, I will just, uh, grab, I will just go grab, uh, a, a sweet, sweet apple. apple. Yeah. If, uh, the way you get sweet apples, you have to at least be in Hammerlock, and you have to trade it to, um, you have to trade an Appleton to a guy, but I have an Appleton, so I can just trade you that. You can give it to him, trade me the sweet apple back. Okay. I'll go get my switch, just so that whenever you're ready, I'll be ready. Slayer. Big old horse cock, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't. Okay. Pisses me off a little bit. Yeah, Fuck you, nah, man. he pisses me off a lot. Yeah, you're gonna have that attitude. Like, you can't tell somebody they're fucking done, you dickhead. You're just an old ass yeah, guy. Man. You know what, man? You're done. Yeah, man. What you are. What a fucking crazy. boomer way of thinking. Yeah, for real. Ah, uh, yeah, I tried to organize this by, like, typing. 
Oh, it's a... Yeah, it's a decent job, okay. but too. Have an Appleton. Yeah! Give me an up on. Yeah. Swing! I swing my whip. I swing my whip. I swing my whip. Oh my god, this motherfucker's got vantage! How cool. Damn, uh, my Amazing. Can you imagine? <laughs> I can't. I can't, Andrew. I've been trying to imagine! I've been trying! <laughs> well, try harder. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh. Oh, it's like that. Oh, it's it? Actually, it's like hat. That <laughs> <laughs> was kind of dumb, but it was funny. Alright, let me put up my wireless communications. Oh, thank you. Think you're better than me? Oh, hold on, my kid's crying. Doing dad things, you know? No. I'm gonna send a link code for trading. 0557, 0557. Yes. Okay, but what's the code? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew, you're a funny guy, you know? No. I don't need this shit I don't. to fucking kill you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, shit. Have you ever, like, actually, like, wanted something from somebody? <laughs> and, and you, like, like, only talk to them? But, like, they're, they're, they're the biggest asshole in the world and you can't fucking stand them. Yeah, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do I do well, care and love the guy, but, like, well, fuck Oh, I was about to say, but you have no, like, appealing to attachment to the person whatsoever, but you just need them for the one thing. No, I mean, I care about Tyler, but that motherfucker, oh, yeah. I do hate his guts, and most of the time I wouldn't deal with him in terms of items, but the motherfucker always has stuff that I want, and he's a son of a bitch. Let's see. Got a dremper in this street. I don't know what I want to give you, buddy. What you want? Is there anything you want? Want to kiss? I was gonna cancel the trade as a meme. <laughs> okay, a little too much. I don't do this shit forever. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. That reads cool. Bro, why am I guys getting crits like it's nobody's fucking business? Why, why does it matter? I think that's the thing, right? I mean, maybe. You're a fucking loser. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just 
I'm actually surprised I had most of my boxes like organized and shit. Yeah, I'm sort of chill that dude had mine. It frustrates me to organize the ones in, uh. In, uh. uh is this new one? The new one that we got, you know? Carolyn Violet? Yeah, 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 yeah. It really frustrates me to fucking organize them in that one just because it's like. Um. You have to, uh. You have to wait for the damn images to load. Thanks a lot, buddy. No problem. I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, uh, finish, uh, the decks there. That way I can, uh, restart and then I can just fill my decks back up. Well, I've already got my decks finished, but, but you, like, I'm gonna transfer all the Pokemon that I had in my last playthrough back to Sword and Shield so that I can fill out my decks immediately. Yeah. That way, my father will love me again. Yeah, in this game I have a shiny Lunala, a shiny Diggersby, a shiny Dalventula, and a shiny Boldor. That's pretty sick. Wait, Goldor, who's that? Boldor. Oh, Boldor. Yeah, he's cool. He's the one. He got blue crystals, doesn't he? Yeah. That's super cool. Dalventula is black instead of blue. Are you not gonna? That's pretty cool. Are you not gonna transfer that to home and transfer it to Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should just go ahead and put this in. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Um, man. My uh, strikers are fun. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna play it, we <laughs> can. I'm still nah, it. I'm just, no, I'm just saying, that game was fun for like a little bit of time though. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Look, enemy comes in tiny numbers. Get up, comrades. We cannot let the other army. But. Thank you. Why is he talking do. like that? What'd you say? I think, uh, I think I know what Alex is doing. I haven't checked Chip, but I could. I can just go on Final Fantasy and see if he's on Final Fantasy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dude, I'll bust his ass if he's fucking... <laughs> oh my god. Get the shit out of him. Can you not uh, appear yeah. offline on Final Fantasy? So, uh, um, no. Oh, cool. Yeah, do that shit. Let's beat his ass if he is. I have to download update though, so it might take a second. Gives him time. Turns out he's watching my stream just to hear what we're saying. Say. Oh god, oh no, oh no. <laughs> what the they're doing an anonymous thing. I really wouldn't do that though. Uh, he's sneaky, he's a sneaky boy, Tristan. He's a little bastard. Right now. I know you don't have to tell me. I've been battling with it for years. All we ask the man for is honesty. That motherfucker's a liar! Pokemon him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> this doesn't seem fair at all. I kill him, man. You're gonna fucking die. No. I am Isvan, General of Lord Celiora's Royal Army. You, leader of subhuman filth. State your name. I'm Ike. Real mercenaries. Real mercenaries? Never heard of them. You were just small time bandits, yes? Ah, uh, if we had left behind dead bodies of subhumans, our reward would have been bigger. My lord is not being pleased with the head of bandits. Well, I wouldn't worry about our heads. You have no chance to win this fight. Leave while you can. Three, take number three, my lord. <laughs> that was what we call a fucking throwback game. Good one. Oh wait, I've got Worm Slayer. Why the fuck am I not using Worm Wow! Wah! 
TBH, I just fucked up. Damn, what the hell? Three! Pick number three, me lord! Lord Farquaad, you have chosen to paint this. If you like pina coladas, and getting caught in the spring. Hey, why do I have a reveler? My. Boom, you just got fucking dead, dude. Wait, this cannot be our reward! <coughs> I also want a pony top. RC is such a good game. And I love shiny pony top. Woo! I saved my boy. He almost died. Uh, is this one the Delarian one, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, the fairy type. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. pretty cool too. Hey, uh, I also two. need. It's fast. I'm going to move my legendaries as well. It's a volley. Oh yeah, I have a Zerud and a Zer Zer a Oh yeah, yeah, I got uh. Oh yeah, I got a Zerud too. Yeah. Is that a shiny Zerud? Zerud? Oh, I got a shiny Zerud from Tyler. It's Barnfeld and Stalin. Does that mean he's dead? Doubtful. What the fuck? God damn it! Wait, what's that mosquito in here? Oh fuck! I remember. I have a, I have a shiny Eevee, a shiny Pikachu from Machamps.com. Oh. Uh, this one doesn't say from a chance.com. This one just says shiny Eevee. And it has Pokeris. Hmm. Check the summary. Where are you from? If you're from a chance.com, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's, that's too good. There's a fucking mosquito uh, lurking around my house. I gotta kill it. It's not gonna show me who the owner of this was in home, is it? Oh shit. Can't let you or our men die in vain. It's my job to keep you from doing anything stupid. If I have to knock you out to keep you out of this battle, that's what I'll do. Fine, try. Oh shit! I stopped them. No, they need to do this. Oh fuck! Do they like? Do they? I hope Rainolf. Oh, Rainolf dodged his ass. Oh shit! No, no, Rainolf, no! Don't worry about him. I might have broken some bones, but he will heal quickly. Quickly. My soldiers, we are leaving. Head back to base camp. Can no scream here. We will return and regroup. It pains me, but we must. Damn it, Reynolf. He got my leg. You're still willing to carry him? If he doesn't rest and heal all his little chores, fall on me. I can't have that. Well, this culture is weird. What a weird game. Reporting, sir, the Laguz Alliance is retreating. Oh shit, it's Selgius. So the enemy does not persist when the situation turns on them. Dude, please tell me I got the fucking. Did I get my son or no? It's already one o'clock. Wow. Yeah, man. This enemy does not persist when the situation turns against them. I'm impressed. They're flexible and adept, and adapt quickly to a changing environment. Shall we pursue them? No. First, we will join our allies to the north. I hear they've taken heavy losses. General Celsius, it's an honor to meet you. General Lavelle, Duke Gaddis's northern force, is it? Are you in command here? No, not I. Rather, the northern force lacks any order. We do not have a central commander to direct us in battle. So each force was fighting the enemy on its own. Quite so. Taking orders from others is beneath the nobles, I suppose. How pitiful. A sad state of affair, yes, but now that you're here, General, the situation will be rectified. Yes, one can hope. So are the rumors true? I've heard that power and binion has been split between the Apostle and the Senators. True. They do not agree on how to deal with Lagoo's alliance, however. 
As long as there are enemies who threaten the Empire, we shall fight. That is our duty, is it? Uh, indeed. And do not trouble your mind with politics. Let the nobles worry about their games. We should focus on this war. Apostle Sanaki, Empress of the Benyan Empire, does not wish war with the Lagoos and searches feverishly for a peaceful resolution. However, many Imperial Senators see the war not only as a means to expand their own influence, but also as a convenient opportunity to exterminate the Lagoos once and for all. These ambitious Senators meet with Vice Minister Lacane and vigorously advocate a full-scale war. Having seen their homeland invaded, Benyan's citizens desiring peace are now few and far between. Against the Apostle's wishes, Benyan's military is now fully committed to the war with the Lagoos. Zelgius easily escapes the talons of the bird tribes meant to delay him and the Central Army. He arrives at the Sestol Plains to reinforce his weakened allies. The Lagoos forces are surprised by the sudden appearance of this new enemy and seek a counsel from Ranulf of Gallia. Ranulf orders a retreat with all speed, thus avoiding a full-on engagement with the Central Army. General Zelgius chooses not to pursue the fleeing Gallian army. Instead, he orders his army to hold position on the eastern banks of the Riban. Divided by the river, the two armies are deadlocked able to do little more than glare at one another in hatred. This might be the end of our war. The northern central armies have emerged. A force that size is too powerful for us. If Tabar and Nexala can't help us, it might be a good idea to go back to Galia and regroup. Convincing Skrimir won't be easy, but I can't let our people get killed in a hopeless battle. Understood, Raynal. This is your war, so I'll follow your orders. I have to say, though, retreating won't be easy. According to Soren, the Central Army has mobilized and begun marching on our position during the last few days. They finally brought in a competent commander, huh? Hmm. Our path is blocked both ways. Hey. Hello, boys. It's good to know you two still hang out together. It's Barn. Glad to see you're safe. What happened? Didn't the bird tribes hit the supply unit? The Binion Central Army is here, and they're marching on us. Talk later. Eat now. Sorry, but I gotta put something on my stomach and get some rest. How's the Barn? He's resting inside the tent over there. Hi, did you see them? Did you see his wings? Yeah, they were covered in blood. He's not hurt, so it must be someone else's. I have this awful feeling. Feeling that something terrible has happened. I really hope I'm wrong. Ike, Reynolds. Racing, you're here too. I have to check on him. I'm worried about Tabon. We're worried too, but Racing can't just let him be for a while. Jennifer, Oki, okay, what's going on? What happened to you out there? Saul and the Raven have killed us, betrayed us? Again? I'm so mad I can barely see straight. The Ravens were informants. They told Binion our battle strategy. It was a trap. The supply unit we raided turned out to be the Central Army itself. The troops were under the command of Binion's most famous general, Zelgius. General Zelgius? This just got a lot worse. You've heard of him? I met him during the Mad King's War. He's powerful, experienced, and clever. One of the best generals of our time. Yeah, for a Bjork, he was quite, a, he was quite powerful, all right. To barn while shifted, mind you, attacked the Selgis guy. Selgis didn't even budge an inch. But all of a sudden, he stopped fighting and said, We delayed you long enough. If you cherish the lives of your people, return home at once. He said that? So the king made a decision. He flew night and day and reached Finikis, but it was too late. Save for the elderly women and children, they were all. I also heard what happened, and I just couldn't believe it. And they saw I'd betrayed us once again. 
I cannot believe you play a role in wiping out Finkies. Yeah, we're not wiped out yet. Huh? It's a I'm alive and well. My people are few, but they still live. Finikis is still a country. Jennifer, Oki, you know what we must do. Of course. Yes, Binion and Kilvis will burn for this. So, that's the whole story. Sorry we were late, but now we're here to stay and see this war out. Don't tell me you kids are gonna run off with your tails between your legs. I won't accept that. Of course not, King Tabar. I'll get Screamer right now. Slight delay, but now that we've merged with the Hawk Tribe, we have the strength to fight. Our goal is to cross the cross the Riban. The core of the forces will ford the river and attack the central army head on. Right off, you'll need to form a small unit of the best warriors and lead them behind enemy lines undetected. Can you do it? No sweat. Oh, there's some officer hunting to keep their leaders' attention on us. Good. But destruction alone will not get us across the river. The got the terrain that sounds just in their favor. Bah, use fewer words, Tiny Bjorn. Tell us what we must do. Some of us have a battle to fight. Don't interrupt me again, Screamer. All these words may be the only thing that can possibly win this battle. As I was saying, while Rainiff and his men sow confusion in the rear ranks, the group of hog will carry around the ground mercenaries, carry the ground mercenaries south around the battlefield. We'll cross the river and make our way to the supply train, which also serves as senators' camp. Ah, uh, I see what you're doing. You're going to involve the senators and have them start messing things up. Precisely. Zaljus is the military commander, but the senators have authority over him. If attacked, they will panic and request aid. He will be forced to return and rescue them. So just as a soldier through and through, he will not disobey an order, no matter how foolish it might be. Once he leaves, the front line will crumble. That's when you advance. Tabarna and Skrimir will lead the charge. That's all. Is everyone clear on what they have to do? Hm. I still dislike the orc tactics. I'd rather have face my enemy and give him, give him my name before I snap his neck in my jaws. But in order to defeat cowards, we must use the weapons of cowards. Let's go. properly fired, so I'm going to quit.